Hello and good evening. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello and good evening. I am live for the hour here, uh, currently on Facebook. Um, I'm going to be doing some causal body sound harmonization for you all uh, this evening, which I haven't done for a while, but it is, um, it is Good Friday today. It's Easter weekend. Uh, lots of uh, possibilities and opportunities for energies to tap into there symbolically, actually, vibrationally, and all of the above. Um, I acknowledge a lot of you watch this on recordings, so I'm going to do my best just to get straight down to it. I do want to talk about retreats I'm giving uh, in August. I do want to speak about where I'm about to travel to and see some of you. But let me get uh, straight down to work first of all. Cause of body sound harmonization. What's the cause of body? And my best, uh, my best ability to uh, convey that anyway. So imagine, you know, all of you familiar with the energy field as it were, but there's different layers of it. And so shall we say uh, around about here, and it, and it goes back and forth, of course, around about here, we've got a layer that cause the body, and that is what is interfacing with everything, right? Simple as that, as, as I see it. The cause of body interfaces with everything. And so uh, um, perceptions you may have about situations and people, that's where it gets met first of all. And so the way I see it as, as a person and a practitioner is the clearer the cause of body is, the better your life goes. Simple as that. Um, and so particularly with the world being so charged as it is, and it seems like that's just how life is going forwards, um, the more clear your cause of body is, or the more harmonized, shall we say, uh, the better able you are to show up for the world, and the better able you are not to take on the world into your, um, into your world, as it were. What's the expression we're said to, we're, we're um, recommended to be in the world, not of the world, okay? And that requires us retaining our conscious will, okay? Conscious will, our divine will. And so if we're all clogged up with the world, as I'm calling it, then we can't be, we can't do our best, we can't be our best. And I'm sure you all, I'm sure you all want to. So, um... You know, what, what am I going to use? What am I going to use? Uh, I didn't bring everything that close, but right over here you can see I've got the gong. I'm going to start with the gong and I'm going to use the didgeridoo, which is right there. Didgeridoo. Gong, didgeridoo, loud stuff, okay? And so with that, we are clearing. Uh, right here is what I'm going to be working on. You may be able to see a grid I've got here. The grid is a body of collective shall we say. I use the Sephiroth, if any of you are interested in that, as a basis for my grid. It's got a kind of humanoid form there, and that's what I work on. That's what I work on. And I pick up on this body, as it were, etherically, uh, what is going on with the body, the collective, and I clear it just like I was, would be clearing a human physical person, okay? The gong, the didgeridoo, that's loud. It connects with energy that maybe we don't want, but then it can then it can raise it up. That's the point. We don't want to ignore stuff, we don't want to take it on, we do want to connect with it so that we can change it to a higher version of itself. Right? Um, after that, I'm going to do a balancing on what I find there. I'm going to use tuning forks for that. Um, Non-weighted tuning forks, obviously, you will hear them make a sound. Um, and the last thing I'm going to use is the crystal bowl, and I just got a new one, you might be able to see it just there. I use my voice with that, and there again I'm tuning what I find higher. Uh, so it's a step process, a clearing, um, re balancing and recalibrating, and then tuning higher. Okay, um, That's as simple as I think it needs to be put uh, in, terms of, in terms of you guys there. Um, there's nothing you need to do, just get yourself comfortable, I would say. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Uh, just uh, breathe, uh, breathe naturally through this. Um, know that with works like this, or really any meditative things that you would um, participate in, you're representing a bunch of people yourself. Uh, family, community, colleagues, neighbours, whatever it is. So that's what you're doing, just as I'm doing this. The purpose is to get the causal body part of us a little clearer, more in balance, so that we can interface with the world as our higher self would like us to. 
and wish us. Okay. Um, and um, just sometimes it, it's good to know for one's mind and mental body. This will take about 25 minutes or so. Um, just get yourself comfortable. I'd say, I'd say close your eyes. There's nothing really to see. I'm just moving around in here. And I will, um, I'll share a few things uh, when I'm done. So if you want to join me, I always like to start with a prayer. I always like to start with a prayer and I appreciate you all being with me and holding space. So let's, uh, let's go. Let's go. So we call to sacred presence within us. We take a deep breath into the whole body and we ground ourselves, we find that beneath us. Grounding ourselves in our own unique way. Whatever way you do it is perfect, but we ground ourselves, ready to hold and move energy. And so to above, to the farther sky, above, we connect equally. As so below, so above. We call to sacred presence all around us. We sit, we hold space in clarity, in vibrant energy, in our angelic presence. We call to our higher selves as ever and always, to be directed, refined, calibrated. And we ask to do this, we do this work in the highest good, for the highest good, for those that need it through us. We call on the angels of sound, of joy, harmony, peace and presence to come through the sound, to go to where they need to go to. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Everyone take a breath. Let's close your eyes. There's nothing you need to do. And I'm going to begin.
you're setting down, laying down at this moment, just like you will to be with your stillness, the stillness, of course your body is breathing of its own accord, but the flow, the light, the love, call it what you want, that's moving through you in this moment, I'd like you just to allow that. Even as I speak, just allowing that flow to move through you. And not trying to make anything happen. Just 
just enjoying some moments of alignment out of distraction. And love throws, flows through you to where it needs to be, where it needs to go. <clears throat> Bring your attention to your chest now, please, to your heart. Breathing through there. ourselves now, <clears throat> grounding ourselves with. You might like to see or imagine, visualize a column of white light going all the way through you. It expands and contracts and so with the breath. Let this column of light now extend downwards. So it's not moving, but it's extending, it's getting longer. And downwards into the earth below you. Downwards into the earth, deep, deep. Oh, following the breath and we're grounding ourselves once again, reconnecting to waking space, physicality, tangibility, once again. Let's all take a nice deep breath together. If you would, uh, if you would like to, if you'd like to, and I want to say thank you, thank you for holding space with me. That was uh, that was uh, an interesting experience for me here. Um, just because uh, I'm just I'm, I'm with whatever I'm with when I'm with it, and taking a while to clear, taking a while to move, and eventually it did. And I learned something actually just now. Uh, whereas usually when I work on someone or something, um, going through this process and I'm uh, waiting till the energy opens up for me to to tune or be the vessel for it to tune to a higher version of itself, and that latter part didn't need to happen today. And I was just watching it and I'm feeling it, and it's different, and and I get the message that this was about harmonization. Harmonization happened, and the and tuning or whatever I think needs to happen after that didn't need to happen today. So we're just going for harmonization. And I like learning things. I like seeing things um, from for in a different way. It's good to, it's good to, it's good to, it's good to, <laughs> it's good to. So um, I don't want to keep you uh, all too long this evening. I'll just share a couple of things if you're if you're um, if you have the ears to hear it. Um, my next trip I leave on Friday and I'm going to the, well, the Great Lakes area. I'm going to Cleveland, area I'm always happy to be in. Going up to Grand Rapids and towards the end of the following week going all the way down to Virginia, where I haven't been for a while. Um, so I uh, um, look forward to seeing you, some of you, in the Cleveland area. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a while and uh, Michigan I haven't been for like three, four years since prior to COVID, I think. So that's next week. You let me know if you want more information on that. I'll post it soon. The other is um, I will be giving a retreat. This year's retreat will be at Unity Village here near me in uh, Missouri. Um, the subject is the Unified Field Experience. The Unified Field Experience. And so I'm going to be showing people um, how to connect with all this opportunity around us. It is a vibrational field, um, which our own field is interspersed with, linked to what we are linked to kind of what we're doing today, but in much more detail, uh, connecting with it, feeling with it, healing with it, changing things with it, um, relationships um, with it, planetary work with it. Um, the Unity Village, they've got a new labyrinth, gorgeous, gorgeous labyrinth made out of brick and everything and I'm a fan as you can see. Um, we are going to have the opportunity to walk that at night. They're going to candle light it for us and everything. I'm going to take us to some botanical gardens um, about, to, about 20 miles away because to there's, there's far f there's few better ways to connect with the unified field than with nature. You know? So um, that is the August the 23rd through the 26th, uh, last day is the 27th. Um, food is covered, accommodation is covered, 
Um, what I'm asking for is deposit of $111. The total amount is $999, but if you put in your deposit this month, you will get an early bird discount and it will only be $888. Quite a discount, right? So if you if you want to, if you are interested, you know, um, either join or, or ask me for information, it's on my website, joshuaranasio.com. Um, you just hover around the events and workshops section and the retreat will show up. Um, I'm not into rushing, I'm not into creating need. This retreat will fill up and I can promise you that. Um, don't rush, don't jump to, don't whatever. If you feel you're to be there, you know, be there. <laughs> um, what else to say? What else to say? I don't have much else to say. Other than, I wish you all a wonderful weekend. A wonderful weekend, wonderful Easter weekend. A uh, lot of, so much energy of rebirth and a new cycles, new opportunities and shedding the old. So much opportunity this weekend uh, if you want to give yourself to it for a few minutes there in addition to this. But anyway, um, thank you. Thank you for being with me um, the last half hour, some of you. Um, have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. God bless your family. I'll see some of you on Tuesday for readings as I do and I will see you then.